In this video, you will learn how to create a new implant library in Dental System. At the beginning of this process, we recommend that you go to our support website and from documentation, Dental System, How To Guides, download instructions for implant library creation in the Dental System PDF file. Before proceeding, please follow this document. It contains all important information about implant libraries. It is also recommended to save all files, either in STL or DCM file format, under the specific folder. To do so, go to Drive C, 3Shape Configuration, Dental System, Dental System Control Panel, Library, 3Shape, Abutments, Implant Systems, Create a new folder, and copy all new libraries into it. In our example, we will show you demo kits for one and two piece abutments. With our three shape shape designer application, which is also available on our support website, check if the parts for a new library are correct, according to the PDF instructions. If everything is okay, start creating your implant libraries. Go to dental system control panel. then Abutments, and Implant Systems. Let's start from creating a one-piece abutment. Press Add to add a new implant system. Enter the unique ID, the name for the new system, and the version number. It is recommended here to avoid using the space button. Now, to add parts to that new implant system, Press Add under each part and browse for the relevant CAD file. After the files are uploaded, change the ID for it. And again, please avoid using the space button. Repeat this step for the rest of the parts. Once the files have been imported, you can proceed to the next step and add a new implant system category. Type in the name, click OK, and then click on Add Current System. At this point, create an abutment kit from the parts you have just imported. Click Add. This will bring up the wizard, which will guide you through the part selection. The first page of the abutment kit wizard contains a few specific options. An identification part for creating an ID, a specific name for this kit, and an external ID. Next, you have the three-shape global coordinate system. If you are considering that your implant library will be used with third-party scan abutments and also want it to be supported, then enable this option. Next, you have the Abutment Export options. Here you can enable the Use Implant Coordinates option. If checked, the final abutment geometry is stored in the common coordinate system of the implant system parts. If unchecked, the final implant geometry will be stored in the coordinate system of the preparation scan used for designing the abutment. Keep Base for saving the shape or removing geometry from the exported abutment base. The Append Hole Patches option. If checked, the screw hole is closed in the exported geometry, allowing use of milling blanks with the pre-drilled screw holes. Furthermore, with the Advanced Options and CAD Block options, you can set the parameters for screw offset, hole radius fillet and others. When you are ready, click Next. At this point, you can choose materials for this abutment kit 
After that, click Next. At the end of the wizard, you can specify the limitations for that abutment kit. For example, if the Perform Blank Validation option is selected, then you won't be able to violate the design constraints given by the blank file. When you set all the limitations for the user, click Next. Confirm the applied changes by selecting Finish. At this moment, you can preview the previously created one-piece abutment. Remember that this type of abutment kit, without an interface model, can output abutments without the base model. So let's start creating a two-piece abutment. The difference between one-piece abutment and a two-piece abutment is basically in the form of the base model. Also, a two-piece abutment contains the abutment interface model. What is most important to know is that due to FDA restrictions in the US, the base is always removed from the CAM output for one-piece abutment. Only for a two-piece abutment is a base file allowed to be outputted in the CAM output. To create it, click Add for the abutment interface models, choose the relevant file from the folder, then change the ID. Do the same for the base. Click Add. Search for relevant file base and again change the ID for it. Now it's time to create a two-piece abutment kit. Follow the wizard guide and leave the default option checked. Click Next and do the exact same thing as for the one-piece abutment. At the end, click Finish to save the changes. Now you can preview the second abutment kit. When all is done, choose Save from the main menu. In the main menu, you can see the table mode icon. It allows you to change the overview for easier and faster editing of abutment kits. Double-click to activate the chosen field and implement changes. However, browsing for CAD files and creating abutment kits still has to be done in the details mode. We add a new feature which is called Transform. This allows rotating and repositioning of entire sets of models with the same transformation, which will save time and reduce the number of errors. To do so, simply select a folder with models and click Apply. We advise you to test newly created implant libraries in Dental System. To do so, you can download demo cases from our support website. Choose Demo Cases 2014, which are stored in Documentation, Dental System, Support Materials. The easiest way to check if your new libraries are created correctly is to make a new order form with two single abutments. For the first one, choose a one-piece abutment, and for the second one, choose a two-piece abutment. After that, import the relevant case and move through the whole workflow to see if at any stage the error message pops up. Try designing a proper abutment. Try designing an abutment too big or too small. Try different designs to ensure that everything works as expected. If no issues are encountered during these tests, you may now proceed to the final tests with your partner lab to validate milling output results. Now you've learned how to create a new implant library. Thank you for watching.